आई आई टी बॉम्बे हैज़ रिलीज एन इंटर्नशिप एंड इन दिस इंटर्नशिप यू कैन गेट फिफ्टीन थाउजेंड रुपीज़ पर मंथ एंड दिस इज अ ग्रेट अपॉर्चुनिटी बिकॉज फर्स्ट यू गेट टू स्टे एट द आई आई टी बॉम्बे कैंपस फॉर अ पीरियड ऑफ फोर टू सिक्स मंथ्स डिपेंडिंग ऑन द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ द इंटर्नशिप एंड इट इज ओपन फॉर अ नंबर ऑफ फील्ड इफ यू आर इन द टेक फील्ड यू कैन अपलाई इफ यू आर इन द मैनेजमेंट फील्ड यू कैन स्टिल अपलाई फॉर दिस इंटर्नशिप देर आर अवेलेबल प्रोजेक्ट्स फॉर एवरी वन द ओनली कैच इज द डेड लाइन टू अपलाई फॉर दिस इंटर्नशिप इज एट सेप्टेंबर सो इन दिस वीडियो विल सी द इंटायर एप्लीकेशन प्रोसेस एंड आई विल गिव यू सम टिप्स हाउ यू कैन इंक्रीज your chances of getting selected in this internship so let's start this so as soon as you go to the website you will find available projects and you can choose any area of interest that you have and once you choose that area of interest you will find a list of available projects under that field so you can choose your area of project for example if i am interested in the management field i'll choose sgm school of management and there i can find there is one project which is open and i can choose that i can read more details about this project and it is very important to read your area of interest and to read the complete details about the project because this is what will help you in your application further and this is going to be required in the later part of your application next coming to the eligibility criteria first of all you need to be in the third or fourth year of your undergraduate program or in the second year of your masters program and if you fulfill this then you need to be in the top 20% of your class now the thing is for this top 20% you need an noc from your hod but a lot of students what they used to do in our college as well because a lot of internship used to have this restriction top 10 top 20% so usually the hod even if you are in the top 30 top 40% they used to sign this kind of an noc that you are in the top 20% because at the end of the fourth year you never know what can happen and if you are very close to that top 20% mark you can get this signed but obviously it depends on the kind of hod that you have in your department you can try this with your hod as well if you are in the top 20% then there is no concern you can definitely apply for this after that you need another noc from your hod or department head whoever there is that uh, you can conduct you can pursue this internship that is from the month of january to june you are free to pursue this internship because it's a full time internship so you need an noc from your college that there is no academic thing that will hamper and you are getting that noc from the college that you will be conducting and you will be pursuing this full time internship at iit bombay after that the selection process is simple first of all you need to put in your application if your application is selected then an interview or a written test will be conducted and that completely depends on the department in which you have applied some departments might conduct a direct interview some departments might conduct a test and some might conduct a combination of both of them so depending on whichever field you have interested in and whichever department you have applied under they will have their own process after the application so next coming to the application process first of all you need to register on the site and then you can start your application and most of the details of the application would be very simple and the most important thing that you will find in this application is your statement of purpose the way that you write your statement of purpose and obviously your cv is also important but the statement of purpose is equally important and i'll just read out what is written over here statement of purpose you need to fill that in 500 words and you need to describe your interest in research and how diversity and this opportunity would advance your goals applications for internship must be accompanied by a statement of purpose answering questions such as and note down these questions note down these questions in a word document and make sure you have an answer to all of these questions depending on the project that you are applying for so what are those questions why is an applicant interested in a particular project first what specific background skills and experience does an applicant have for the project that is the second one third is what is the applicant's long term career plan this is the third one and fourth is what role does this project play in it fifth is what role does an internship at iit bombay play in the career plan and the final thing that is mentioned over here is the list is only illustrative and the applicants are encouraged to think beyond these questions while writing their statement of purpose now these are the list of questions that you should definitely include but i will tell you the most important ones first of all why are you interested in this internship this you need to have a compelling reason that and you can include your long term vision or long term plan here itself that you want to explore this field it's it's a good uh, narrative to have that you want to explore this field but you also have to show interest about the past things that you have done in this particular field so which why are you interested in this project what have you done in the past that makes you eligible that you have expertise in this particular research area at the same time makes you interested in this internship this is very very important i think uh, 
why is an applicant interested in a particular project what specific background skills and experience does an applicant have for the project so this second and third question is very very important that what skills do you have most of the professors they will be re- looking for candidates who have similar skills and that's why if you can show that you have a very similar skill you have done similar kind of work in the past it definitely adds great value and definitely show research skill as well even if you do not have the direct functional skill if you can show that you have researched on number of topics you have great research skills you have even if you have python x you know great excel these are certain skills that a lot of professors look for so highlight your excel skills highlight your python coding skills if you have highlight uh, research skills that you have any data analytics skills that you have so highlight these specific skills in your resume and in your statement of purpose as well next everything mentioned around long term vision and everything that is not so important but yes you can have two three lines around that as well suppose you are applying for a management internship you can dictate that how you are interested in pursuing an mba in future as well and how you have read other research reports it's a great opportunity if you have read other research reports and if you write about that for example you know this kind of research who does this kind of a research at iit bombay just go and read that professor's uh, entire bio read the other kind of research papers that they have produced and you can mention about those research papers that see i read these research papers this really intrigued me even if you you can just ask chat gpt to summarize it as well but that kind of show that you have done your research who is the professor behind it what kind of research papers they have written what was mentioned in those research papers so if you can highlight those aspects as well in your statement of purpose that adds great value and you can link your long term vision with that as well that you are interested in suppose in management in future and uh, you have read these kind of reports maybe a different kind of reports as well but they were related to the management field that intrigued your interest in the management field so this kind of a vision as well you can integrate there but don't keep more than two three lines for long term vision rather highlight more about why are you interested in that project what does that project mean for you and what skills you have that can relate you to that particular project and if you can highlight any thing very personal like the professor's interest in research areas the different research papers that you have read around that so those will definitely add more value so this is what i wanted to cover about iit bombay internship that are being offered but remember the deadline is 8 september so you do not want to miss out on that and if you are not yet subscribed subscribe to the channel make sure you subscribe so that you do not miss out on future updates usually these updates are released very close to the deadline so you do not want to miss out on the notification so do consider subscribing to the channel that's it for this particular video see you in the next one